In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can define bodies in sim mechanics. For the first draft of a model, we might be able to use standard solids to define the parts. However, in further iterations, we may want to add more complex bodies to our models to make them look more realistic. To do this, we can combine standard solids and use MATLAB to define extrusions. For parts like this, we can combine items like bricks and shafts together using multiple solid blocks and the rigid transform block. The resulting system will be one single part in the model. It's important to think about the interface to your block or how it connects to other parts in your system and add the ports accordingly. For parts like this, you can define it as an extrusion in MATLAB. One way would be to define multiple extrusions and then bring those into different solid blocks connected by rigid transforms, again using the ports as the interface to your block. Doing this will allow you to have parts that have a very realistic representation as well as mass and inertia properties. I'll now switch over to the model so that you can see how this is done. Here we have a model of a single pendulum built using sim mechanics. If we look at the 3D visualization, we can see that it consists of two parts, the pendulum link and a fixed point in space. If we run the simulation, we can see that the pendulum swings back and forth. What we'd like to do is to take these blocks and these parts and make them look more realistic. For example, make the space have a pin that the pendulum swings around. To do that, we'll go into the block subsystem. Here we can see that we have one solid block that represents the solid that you see here. We'd like to first add a pin or a shaft that the pendulum can rotate around. So we're going to make a copy of this block, of this solid block, connect it here and name it pin. If we go into this solid block, we can see that we have options of selecting predefined solids. So we're going to use a cylinder for our shaft with a radius of 5 and a length of 10. Now we need to define where this pin is with respect to the block, so we're going to simply attach it to the back face of this block. To do that, we're going to define the displacement between the block and the pin using this rigid transform. So we'll simply set the standard axis up, we'll set the, the displacement between the, do, the two to be 10 centimeters in the minus C direction. When we update the diagram, we can see that we now have a block and there's a shaft that is now attached to the back. So if we select this and rotate, we can see that the shaft has been attached uh, to our block and the, the pendulum will rotate around it. Now the next thing that we'll want to do is put a block on the other side. So to do that, we'll simply make a copy of this block, which we had from before, and we'll use this transform to define uh, how the, um, the block is placed relative to the pin. So we'll connect those two here, and since it's the same displacement, when we update the diagram, the block is now in the right place. So if we zoom back out again and change to isometric view and rerun the simulation, we'll be able to see the pendulum is now rotating about that pin. Now the next thing we'd like to do is to take our link and make it look a bit more realistic, add holes for the pivots and so on. To do that we'll go into the simple link subsystem and if we go into the solid definition for the link you see that we have a brick. Now to make a more refined object what we can do is select general extrusion. General extrusion, the parameters that you enter are uh, X, Y coordinates for the cross section of the part that you wish to define. I'm going to switch over to a MATLAB script where you can see that I've, I've written a MATLAB script that will define the X, Y uh, cross section for the center section of a link. So if we go back to the to this script here, if I run this, it creates a plot of what the of what the cross section should look like. So this is the center section of my link and then if I put another extrusion on either end then we'll have a link with two holes in it. So I'll go back to my link section and I'll hit OK. When I update the diagram now and look at the very end of this link we'll see that the extrusion has now been shown so we can see that we have this cutout here for this half of the hole. What I'll do now is I'll open up a final model where we have taken this link and we've added the center section, the extrusion that I just showed you using this link to um, this MATLAB function I've just shown you, and we've added an end cap to both sides. So now there are three solids making up this one part, and when I update the diagram, you can see that we have uh, at each end we have a hole, and if I go to the select tool, you can see this is the first cross section I showed you, 
and then this is another uh, cross-section or extrusion that has been made with another MATLAB function. So by combining these different solids and the custom extrusions built in MATLAB, we can build much more realistic shapes and therefore create a much more realistic looking animation and have better mass and inertia properties as well.